Hey guys and welcome back. So today's video is gonna be a cash stuffing envelope and it's gonna be for my fourth paycheck of the month. And I received this check on August 16th. Everything else, stay, it basically stayed the same, just my income, it, it's $4.76 more than what I budgeted for. So my total that I'm working with, with is $13.87. 62 and then there's no bills with this check to pay with for my cash envelopes everything stayed the same so it's still 280 for groceries $50 for my youngest son's lunch money for school for pet 50 gas and fuel 50 and then I need $40 for we need a new blower, so we're just saving up for that, and that's $40. So that became, instead of $430, yeah, so instead of $430, it came out, um, I needed $470 for my cash envelopes, and that brings me a total of $917.62. And then for my sinking funds, Everything stayed the same except car maintenance. I didn't add anything for car maintenance. We got my husband's um, plates today and we still have about $270, I believe. So I think I'll leave that in there just as a cushion, just in case we need something for our cars and then I'll start saving up either in December for my tags again for the uh, 2020 year. So instead of 242, so instead of um, taking out 242, I'm gonna need 222. Is that right? Yeah, 222, and that gives me a total of 695.62. And then for my savings, I always put $100 and that stayed the same. So then that gives me a total of $595.62 to pay for my debt. Out of those $595, I'll probably leave $95.62 in and the rest will go to debt. So let's go on with the fun part and that's cash stuffing. So I'll put it up here so you guys can see and I'll zoom you guys in. Okay. Wait, let me. Oh crap, my battery's about to die. So let me hurry, man, my battery's about to die. Okay, so. We'll do this, okay. So for groceries, it's 280. So 250, 70, and 80. And then I have, oh my gosh. My battery is about to die. Oh my Lord. So for groceries, I have just six dollars left over from last time. Okay, the next one is my pet, fifty dollars, and like I mentioned last time, we have to save. We have two dogs now instead of one. Our newest puppy is getting neutered, so we have to save for that. And I'm putting fifty dollars in, and I just bought dog food. So I have 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56 left over, plus the 50. Okay, um, for gas and fuel, I'm doing 50 this time. So there's 50. Oh, gas and fuel. I just filled up and my husband filled up, so we have we have 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 
55, 56. We have $56 plus the 50 from today, so it's $106. Okay, for my house, it's $40, and I did $220, so $20 and $40. And I have some money left over for a, from last time from our... We didn't get fertilizer or anything, so we have 50, 70, 50, 60, 70, 90, 110, 20, 30, 35, 36. So we have to buy fertilizer and the blower, so we should have enough for that. Um, the next thing is Christmas fun, and that's $42, so that's 40 41 42 and I haven't used anything from our Christmas fund. So I'm just going to add 42 here plus and August 16th. And I will add that later. Oh, my battery's about to die, so I'm trying to hurry up. Okay. For the next one is my husband's allowance and my allowance. And that's always... $20 each and I will put these aside. I'm going to zoom you guys out. Okay. And then family fun that is $50. And for family fun, so my husband just got paid yesterday, which is was the 15th, so there's 100, so we have $102 altogether. And this is for two weeks. The next one is birthday fun, and that's $40. And birthday fun, I haven't used up anything, but we do have a wedding. So that's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 1, 2, 3. So 100. And then plus the 40 from this week. Okay. And then the next one is shutters, which I'm saving for my shutters. And that's $50. And I have a total of 100, 200, and 50, 300. So I have 300 so far. And that is a total of $642 that I took out for my cash and sinking funds. The only thing that I didn't take out was the 50 bucks for my son's um, for my son's lunch money. And that I will write out a check and it'll just get taken out anyway. So I hope you like this short video. Comment down below if you have any questions. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow me in this journey. And I'll see you next time. Bye.